What's up guys, uh, Wawa here, if you guys don't know already, uh, I'm just gonna be making a quick vlog here. It's not really gonna be anything or about anything specific, it's gonna be just pretty much about me and what I've been doing for the past couple weeks or so. So yeah, uh, if you guys aren't aware, I haven't been uploading as much YouTube content lately and actually I haven't been live streaming a lot lately and I don't know, I just kinda had to move away from it all. Like. I reached that point in like in this hobby of mine that I want to move away for a little bit because I'm starting to get burnt out like people get to that point where they feel like oh man this is so hard like I can't do this like this like it's just I'm not gonna produce any good content when I'm in this state so I have to move away so that's pretty much I pretty much arrived at that point and I had to move away and that's pretty much what I did um I don't know if you guys noticed it but for me i think it helped me out a lot it improved me in a way that i wanted more starcraft 2 content now like i really needed them but basically i didn't really get away from it all because like all my connects now like facebook twitter most of them are starcraft related so anywhere i go it's just gonna be like all starcraft every time and then the gso finals happened i like i can't miss that though i had to see that so i did watch that it was pretty epic 4-2 by i don't know uh, spoiler spoiler guys spoiler so 4-2 win by dong Rigun. so i'm sorry if you guys didn't watch it yet but yeah it was a good good finals it was packed there and a lot of people were watching it as well online as gone tv was just completely spazzing out during that whole finals like crazy and then IEM rolled in the village. It's like, oh come on, it's, you, you're, you guys are just crazy. Like, I wanted to move away, but they're not allowing me to move away because that's such a big event as well. IEM, that's pretty much the finals of their season already. Like, that's the world championship. And I saw a couple of matches. I didn't really watch a lot of them because I don't know. I, the times I guess here, and the event location, which is in Germany, isn't really good because whenever the, he the event's ha starting over there it's like around 1am here and then the event ends and it's around 10am here or something so I didn't really get to catch a lot of games and plus I'm a I will work so never really got to watch a lot of games at all but I saw and I heard that there was a lot of uh, League of Legends viewers which is pretty amazing I had 252 um, concurrent viewers uh, all throughout the finals of the League of Legends event which is really really awesome like I want to see more of that from the League of Legends side the Starcraft 2 side and then the first person shooter side and by the way Counter-Strike 1.6 finals 50,000 concurrent live viewers that is amazing that is crazy good like for a first person shooter which is I believe 12 years old already like oh man that's just amazing that's really really awesome to see but I believe that's also their last season uh, for IEM. I don't know. This finals might change it up. This finals really did. They did do a good job. So I don't know. They might bring him back for another season next time. But we'll see though. We'll see in the next season. So well, what have I been doing lately? I've been focusing a lot on the fighting game community. Yeah. <laughs> I've been pretty hooked with watching fighting games a lot. Like I watch streams on twitch like with almost uh, fighting games exclusively every day for like a couple weeks like crazy and i don't know i just got hooked like it's really entertaining uh, i'm pretty sure if you guys have tried watching a fighting game stream and for example like peaceful j he usually streams a lot i think he, he has a stream on 24 7 if not it's mostly he's uh, He's mostly streaming whenever I'm awake, so that's pretty much how much he streams. And he has actually a con consistent amount of viewers, which is around 300, 500, then 1200 to 1500 on peak hours. And so, like, whenever people get out of work and such. So, yeah, that's actually a pretty awesome thing. You see all the top pro players here in that stream. And also, those top tier players actually have their own streams, which you also get to watch on Twitch. Which, for example, like Jay Wong. Jay Wong is pretty much my best or my favorite fighting game uh, community player right now he's one of the top players right now he's really awesome he's really good and then there's this guy called Chris G he's my favorite uh, New Yorker player and also my favorite Street Fighter X Tekken player which the newest game that came out actually because he plays Xiaoyu and I play Xiaoyu Xiaoyu is badass watch what it's really really cool but it's really hard to play fighting games too it's like Starcraft it's just 
it's just so awesome it's really hard the skill level or the skill cap is so high it's not even funny and I can actually believe that if ever some of these fighting game players uh, decide to go and play StarCraft 2 professionally that they're gonna be able to compete uh, very very well because their timings and like their quick re reaction timings like it's just spot on they have per perfect perfect timings like for example there's this thing called the frame trap and the fighting games that which they calculate every frames of an action and then they calculate it like what can I do for example your opponent is throwing a jab for example it counts as five frames so what can I counter with those five frames like for example if I have a three frame move I'm gonna use that so what's gonna happen is that my attack is gonna land before his so it's just really really down to the science it's really awesome and if you guys have any chance of watching some fighting game scenes or fighting game tournaments and such you guys should definitely definitely grab onto that I believe they stream tournaments every Wednesday they have Wednesday night fights in the East, in the West Coast and then they have big two in the East Coast they, they're just all over here it's just so awesome like they're also a booming community and they're also a pretty much a drama filled community lately like there's so much attention in the fighting game scene lately that it's not even funny good and bad like there's also this what you call that scandal that happened which brought a lot of um, normal media in terms of uh, gaming such a lot of attention to the fighting game scene and now it's actually a good opportunity for the fighting game community to move up and go uh, where to go from here is up to them it's really how they react to everything but they're not really doing quite well I have to say they're not really doing quite good and um, I guess that's pretty much it that's pretty much what I've been doing oh yeah I bought a fight stick that's how much I love fighting games right now like I bought this fight stick on Craigslist which usually goes for like two hundred dollars I believe uh, brand new but then again I bought it for second hand for only 60 bucks and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now this is the Marvel vs Capcom 3 Tournament Edition Mad Scats fight stick it cost me 60 bucks to buy this it's pretty much like brand new seriously it's really really awesome hope you guys get a chance to play one of these things I have to say it's really difficult to play on it though like you get you really try to just get used to the things and because a joystick is really different from a controller pad and that's what I would been playing for for like a couple of weeks and then I had to transfer to this I just got this by the way so I'm still pretty bad at it it's like timings and stuff but yeah I'm starting to get used to it and then I'm pretty sure like the longer or the more time I get to practice I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting good with this game very very soon like do it again how nice is that I'm gonna put a little bit of close up here mm, hope you guys can see all those characters and they only made 5,000 of this by the way and turns out that mine is it's written back here it is number 1441 so yeah and they also have an awesome box that come along with it that guy was actually nice enough to keep the box I don't really blame him because look at this box like what that's that's such a crazy box right there right like that's really really awesome and it opens like a, a window thing like boom like that. and the sticks goes inside and then there's like more um, flashiness over here it's just a really really set a good good um, thing to invest on I guess I have to say if you're gonna go crazy on fighting games you're gonna commit a lot of time to it which I'm kinda am but I'm not really gonna commit to that much to, the, to it that much but I don't know we'll see from here I'm really having fun with fighting games right now and it's really also stressing like Starcraft like whenever you ladder it's just oh my god that one punch if it connect but anyways yeah i think that's pretty much it um again i apologize to the people who's kind of i guess disappointed to me for moving back away a little bit for a couple weeks or i have to say a month i guess now but yeah i apologize to the people and i'm gonna try my best to upload and do more stuff for the community and the like quality quality content i promise quality content very very soon um, that's it for now i guess Hope you guys enjoyed or made it here to this uh, ending of this vlog and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and tell me guys what you think i want to hear some stories from you as well 
what do you think about the fighting community what do you think about fighting games in general like right now i'm watching a tournament here it's a uh, the street fighter versus second 2v2 tournament <laughs> invitational which is kind of ridiculous because it's pretty much like four players in a fighting game so you tag each other up or there's two and two so it's really hard to decide whenever someone's gonna tag and such so there's a lot of screaming happening and such which is kind of entertaining to watch as well but anyways enough about that uh, thank you again for supporting and hope you guys do not stop I love you all and yeah see you guys next time peace out I'm out bye